Um, what was your favorite professor when you were here on campus? Ooh, don't make me choose. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Jane Varley was good. Uh, I had uh, Dr. Adams a cu for a couple of classes. Um, as academic stuff, but uh, I mean, I think my favorite professors are the ones that led the groups I was in. So uh, Jay Shaftstall was in charge of uh, the games club while I was here. So all the advisors yeah. then? Yeah, all the advisors probably. And of course, Lisa Marshall. Well, I have to say Dr. Pereira, but not really. <laughs> okay. The I was probably, I was, but all the chemistry staff. Um, Dr. Prayer would probably just want me to say her name, so I've got to say it. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. Um, the education faculty really, as a collective, shaped who I am as an educator um, and as a leader. So I, I would be <laughs> not a good student if I picked just one, um, but honestly, the department as a whole. Oh, favorite. It's tough. Uh, at the time, I'd say like uh, Coach Burson and Coach Zeha, they were, they were my two favorites, and, and Dawn Newberry, she was awesome. Um, I was in the theater, I had, uh, there was a children's theater program, or class, um, that I was in a play with. Um, Jerry Martin was the head of the department at the time, so he was real, uh, he was probably one of my favorite professors. I'm trying to remember, I, I really, I don't, I mean, it was Louis Palmer, as everybody's going to say, Louis Palmer, you know. That's why I did art as a minor, and um, then I went on to, I studied in the University of Madrid, so I, I, I had some time away from campus doing that, so. Yeah, the off-campus area. Most, yeah, and I remember Charles Story, he taught uh, accounting, I think. So what was your major? Uh, let's see, uh, business and sociology, double major. Oh man, so what got you into sociology and business? Uh, I started in computer science, figured out I didn't want to sit behind a computer all day. I then just tried to, I started at accounting, realized I didn't want to sit in a cube all day, and then I thought sociology and business was a good combination for me, and then now I'm in software for my entire life, so there you go. Um, well, I was interested in marketing. Um, I guess when I first came to school, I was thinking psychology, but I started taking different classes within the business area and also some communication classes. But um, there were some teachers here. Um, actually, they've just Dr. Jabel just recently retired. But there are different teachers that I had within communications and business that um, I, I just really enjoyed. They were hard teachers, but I felt like I learned a lot. And they challenged me. My major is chemistry. Uh, I was an English major. I majored in early childhood and special education. Uh, health and physical education, K through 12 was my major. Um, I was a business and communication major, and then I had a minor in psych um, and theater. Uh, I majored in Spanish and art. Spanish and art, that's yeah, quite a combination. Very unuseful things. Oh, you know, I found other people with the same major, so, you know, they tie together. Culture and the art, they overlap. So where did you work with your majors? Uh, I taught a school in the Parma City Schools, which is a suburb um, of Cleveland, for forever, 40 years, and now I'm teaching at a Cuyahoga Community College. I'm an adjunct professor of Spanish. Where did I work? A uh, bunch of different companies, SAP, Oracle, Hyperion, companies like that in sales and marketing. Well, um, I live in Ypsilanti, Michigan, which is right next to Ann Arbor. I am in fundraising right now. I do fundraising for a Waldorf school, the Rudolph Steiner School of Ann Arbor. Uh, Rochester Area School District in Pennsylvania. It's about 20 minutes north of Pittsburgh. I'm teaching at Cambridge Primary School down the road about 12 miles in Cambridge, Ohio. I'm working at Milan Pharmaceuticals in Morgantown, West Virginia. I am a teacher for uh, kids on the spectrum. Uh, it's a place called Hogland Learning Center. I work out in Whitehall near Columbus. What was different about the campus that you see right now? Uh, a lot of things, like the dining halls have improved. Uh, the chess center, I think, was just being uh, built when I was leaving. Uh, they were resurfacing the, the, the field again. Well, I've been back a couple times. I'm a Delta, and I was here two years ago for the 100 reunion. Uh, mainly the buildings. I mean, there have been a lot of building since we left. A lot of building improvements. Uh, is there one particular that you really like? Well, I certainly like the um, theater building. 
I have, a, I have a, uh, a fondness for the science building, even though I don't have a science bone in my body, but that was where I went to, to go and study. When, you know, when we hang out with friends, what was your most favorite place to hang in campus during your years here? I was just telling my dad, there is a secret spot on the pond. There is a little brick building, and on the other side, there are some steps there that nobody knows about. Or people might know about it, but nobody goes and sits there. So I used to go sit there and do my reading and do some of my homework. So did you ever do any athletics? No, we didn't. Uh, we didn't have athletics when I was in high school. It was before Title IX, and so uh, Title IX maybe came in shortly thereafter. But I didn't have any background, and so I did play baseball in the summer leagues, but never at Muskingum. And I played tennis, but never for Muskingum. So, um, last question is, uh, you know, from what you've seen, the improvements on campus and how it's grown and evolved, you know, what's your opinion on that? I think it's good. I just, um, I grew up in Cleveland and I, um, I just hope that they continue to try to recruit students from outside of um, New Concord, Cambridge, Zanesville, and I think the best thing that I can say is, is that I had friends from Pittsburgh, I had friends from West Virginia, I had friends from all over, and I hope that Muskingum can continue to recruit um, from all over this, the country. The same great faces, some new ones of course, but it's the same musky spirit is still here, absolutely. That, you know, being an alumni and, I mean, it's wonderful having a student here, but also just um, the people that you meet here are amazing. I'm hopeful for it, you know, I, I really, it's great to see the amount of progress, the number of changes, and I was just telling my wife that I, we've got to get back here a little more often and see what I can do to help out the local community. My wife and I do a lot. We live in Maryland now, so we do, we do a lot with uh, local youth groups and uh, youth programs. So we're trying to figure out what can we do more as we get older and how can we get back. So might start spending some more time here.